Before installing this mount, please make sure you read the manual thoroughly. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 7 32nd inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a 3 8 inch masonry drill bit for concrete installations, a half inch wrench or socket, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, a hammer, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the part sent directly to you. If you have a TV with an irregular back or you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, proceed to step one. If your TV has a flat back, proceed to step two. Step one, attach the TV brackets to a TV with an irregular or obstructed back. First, determine the screw diameter your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with spacers or they could crack the monitor case or damage your monitor's internal components. The following steps only outline standard configurations. If you have a special application, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520. Step 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D. Assemble the TV brackets. Position the vertical brackets over the TV to determine which holes and slots will be used. Verify the brackets will be equally spaced top to bottom on the TV and that they will be level. Determine if your installation requires the shorter spacer or the longer spacer. Then, push the shoulder washer through the TV bracket opening and snap the washer into the spacer. Slide the vertical brackets onto the horizontal brackets. Position the TV bracket assembly over the TV. Slide the vertical brackets left or right until they are correctly positioned over the mounting holes on the back of the TV. Step 1-1 and 1-2. Attach the TV brackets to the TV. Ensure the TV brackets are level. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer into the TV bracket, followed by the shoulder washer and spacer, and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. Step 2. Attach the monitor brackets to a TV with a flat back. First, determine the screw diameter your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with spacers or they could crack the monitor case or damage your monitor's internal component. Step 2A and 2B. Assemble the TV brackets. Slide the vertical brackets onto the horizontal brackets. Position the TV bracket assembly over the TV. Slide the vertical brackets left or right until they are correctly positioned over the mounting holes on the back of the TV. Step 2-1. Attach the TV brackets to the TV. Ensure the TV brackets are level. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer followed by the monitor bracket, and finally into the TV. Tighten the bolt with a Phillips screwdriver. Step 3. Center and lock the horizontal TV brackets. Center the horizontal brackets. After the brackets are centered, lock them in place with four screws. Tighten the screws with the 3 16 inch hex key. Step 4. Add end caps to the horizontal TV brackets. Place an end cap on each end of the horizontal brackets. Step 5. Attach the wall plate to the wall. Mounting the wall plate and attaching the TV is easier when the arms on the wall plate are locked. To lock the arms, slide the arms together and insert the slide lock into the locking position A on the wall plate. If you are installing your mount on a wall with wood studs, proceed to step 5-1. For installations on a concrete wall, Proceed to step 
Step 5-1. Attach the wall plate to a wall with wood studs. Please note, for safe installation, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark two studs. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud locations with an awl or thin nail. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate template against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate template is square with the wall before marking the four hole locations with a pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use the 7 32nd inch drill bit to drill the four hole locations to a depth of 3 inches. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 5-2. Attach the wall plate to a concrete wall. Please note, for safe installation, mount the wall plate directly onto the concrete surface and never drill into the mortar between blocks. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate template against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate template is square with the wall before marking the four hole locations with the pencil. After you have marked the hole locations, use the 3 8 inch masonry drill bit to drill the four hole locations to a depth of 3 inches. Using a hammer, gently tap a lag bolt anchor into each of the four holes. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Tighten the bolts with a socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 6. Install the wire management assembly and wall plate covers. Attach the upper wall plate cover with four screws. Tighten the screws with the 1 8 inch hex key. Position the rear mount of the wire management assembly between the lower wall plate cover and the bottom bracket of the wall plate. Attach the lower wall plate cover with four screws. Attach the front mount of the wire management assembly to the face plate with two screws. Tighten the screws with the 1 8 inch hex key. Step 7. Attach the TV to the wall plate. Please note, before proceeding, verify the wall plate and TV brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television, respectively. With the help of an assistant, attach the TV bracket assembly to the faceplate. The knobs on top of the TV bracket assembly will drop into the slots on top of the faceplate. Secure the TV to the faceplate with locking screws. Tighten the screws with the 3 16 inch hex key. Step 8. Install the wire management system. After all of the necessary wires are plugged into your TV, remove the front, rear, and center covers of the wire management assembly. Route your TV wires through the front, rear, and center sections of the assembly. Return the covers to the assembly. Step 9. Adjust the up and down tilt tension. To adjust the up and down tilt tension, use the M3 hex key to tighten or loosen the tension knob on the faceplate. After setup is complete, remove the slide lock from the locking position A and fit it into the grooves of one of the slides for storage B. You are now ready to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in this Sanus flat panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.